have more of a mutual aid uh, response uh, turnaround. We have one MBA and two residential fire. Um, uh, we received our new radios uh, that we purchased from the Community Foundation Grant. Um, they actually are great. I got a new one here. Definitely can get out a lot better. And, uh, got their new motor road. Uh, these, the, the, these are the new Kenwood. Or Kenwood. I know motor road would be yeah. special pipes up in St. Louis. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we ordered them back in uh, March and they finally got here. So uh, uh, they actually worked pretty good. Uh, we did a lot of talking to dispatch with them and they actually can hear us now. We can hear them very clear. So yeah. good. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, is we purchased um, uh, uh, out of our uh, funds at Firehouse, we purchased some uh, RAM jammers uh, for, um, for our education. Uh, it's more uh, help to uh, for a timely manner of vehicle action if we got to do a roll, dash roll or anything like that. Um, basically what it is, a jam that goes in the door for your RAM and you can set it however far you need to set it back and forth. Uh, we've had trouble in the past, so we finally bought a set, which they are really, really sturdy ones. So um, we got accepted for our conservation grant. Um, so we're going to be getting. Uh, we're going to be getting. We got accepted for it. What we asked for, so we're going to be getting. Uh, around, we're going to be getting four. Uh, inch and three quarter double jack 50 foot hoses, uh, two inch and a half heavy duty nozzles, and one uh, gate six inch valve for 42 and a new uh, 18 inch bar chainsaw. So that's um, uh, going to be half. Is that a full brand or a No, it's a, it's a 50 50. So anyway, when we spin all together, we get half our money back. So, uh, we got that done. Um, the other thing is, our department, uh, next chief's meeting that we have for us, uh, the lawyer for trying to go to the district or the county, which keep a firehouse, but with Ms. Pally, they're going to talk to you how to do things uh, different because the fire tax system and everything that's going on, uh, we're not seeing our funds for the fire tax. So what they're going to try to do is if we go to the full district or the county, then we get tax uh, on that. So we get Yes, more uh, tax revenue off of it. So if we go that route, but with us being a municipality, and like I say again, being a municipality, that's where it comes in with board members. So at the next sheet meeting, it would be nice if one of the board members uh, met, or any of the board members to go and uh, with us and actually listen to what they got to say. Basically, we're going off the Wolf Creek's uh, district and the Olympia district, so everything like set in stone with them now, and they're actually doing really good with it. So funding that helps us out to better respond to it. You know, the volunteer departments are getting pretty shallow of uh, volunteers. You know, nobody wants to do it anymore if you're not getting paid to do it. So it's it's a kind of a catch one one. It's good, but it might not be good. You guys listen to it and we'll see where we go. So I think that takes care of uh, fire bags. So basically, if we go to the district, and what would have to happen, because we're a municipality here, so we have a tax revenue for the city members, or the individuals in the city. Uh, basically, they pay taxes, they don't pay our taxes. So basically, what this district would do is it's county wide. Turn around, it'd be one chief, main chief, or one main chief on the board, and then you have like your step down of your other departments. Um, so what would have to happen is turn around, the tax revenue will go up. And everybody pays a tax, you know, revenue. The only thing that's different is like with us, because that's where this comes into play too. We have Cascade Island, we have Park Ferry County. That's and just like uh, Kenzie, they got Park Jefferson County. So that's where they would have to to find out the difference of what would happen there. So that's what this lawyer does. So it'd be nice when you guys come and visit and actually listen in on it. Is that going to be? Uh, I will have to get the date. I think it's in January. Anyways, I'm gonna, I think it's the second Tuesday in January. I have to look at my other sheet. I forgot it. Right so, now, so, I, will I, will, I can text you or I can you gotta tell April and she can email you all. Yeah, yeah. One, 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 two of you want to go, be great. Okay. Or have you want to do it. Um, the other thing is, is uh, we had to replace the batteries on 41. They went kaboomy. Um, we had to replace the 
it's off pipe on 42. That's all done. Um, had to replace the battery on 71 with a brush pump unit. Uh, so we could, for our engine, so to start up and set it in the corner. Um, that's basically it. All I got for the fire department. Okay, creek department. Oh, we got uh, we got eight street patched up. Yeah, yeah it's it's then it told me today to paint that big hole up there. Yeah, I got that hole in a couple places there. They did a good job doing that. Uh, we're getting ready to replace some of these signs that down by your neck of the woods there on Third Street and 61, where the tornadoes got the stop signs all turned around and the uh, road signs. Nobody right shot in yeah. yeah. So, yeah, well, there's some signs that the letterings are all gone that we're going to go ahead and replace. We've got signs here. I checked them out last week. So the signs are here. We just got to. Just about everything's gone. It's kind of like being out in the desert. You can see everything yeah. before you get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're coming this spring, we're going to clean the ditch lines up, get the last of the debris from the tornado cleaned up, and get that done. I don't finished. have it on it then, but it was uh, on the water department. You done? Yeah, I'm not sure that's how I should do I did take a rented dump truck, I mean a track hole, but I don't know what the or anything yet, but we got a, I think we got a good deal. I ain't put a spot on anything. He said whatever, you know, be good, but we got the, the trailer and everything. Of course, we had a breakdown that we had in that on the street department, but uh, I sent it back to him and cleaned it up. But we had it three or four days because that's the way it worked for us to get the things done. We go rent one, we got to pay for every day. Only we, I think we probably had six, seven hours, five hours, five hours, five hours on it. And we just, you know, gave him a, well, about what we used it. We're paying decent for what we used it, but we was able to keep it till we got the job done. And that meant everything. And it's bigger than anything we would have rented in. Oh, yeah. But it does a good job. Well, it's not true, but... Oh, yeah, sure. A wonderful reaction. A lot of time. Not a test. I mean, no really offense, but some of the area that dug, a little bit of bobcat women did not. No, 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 no. But uh, after they learned how to change the bucket, they were laying with them. Well, you know, but yeah, I do have to get a car. We're going to have to come to some consensus one of these days. I'll get there with the board or something, and we'll, we'll pay him, and he'll take anything, but I won't make it. Reasonable within the reason because we're saving money just paying for the hours we use it, whatever the way it is. Plus, we get the trailer to bring it on, we don't have to. Then, when you rent, you got to take the trailer, get it, or rent a tree. And we can, and it's got a ditch bucket with it. Yeah. Well, we want to clean out some of these ditches this year. Find a week, he don't think he gets it, take a couple of weeks. Okay, sure. Now, back street. So we were taking, we were going to go get it and run it empty when the dump truck blew up again. And we had it towed in, and we sent it to Ford and then come by and down to Ford. We did it twice since it had a identical thing. And the company that was the manifold was rushed in too, and it was making the boost bad. And you welded all that up and fixed it. And I went and got it. And from the camera. I did break the speed limit a little bit a couple of times to uh, see if it was going to blow back off again and and talking to Dennis and I think well brain dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, they said it runs a lot better than everything and it's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, it definitely feels like it's got more horsepower now. I think that yeah, it may be in the problem, it just got worse. But uh, I ain't going to tell you how fast I got it, but I got it up a couple times that it was going to blow off, it would blow off. And the boost never went over four. Yeah. So I think we got a problem fixed up. Now if he can get the dump working, we'll be back in shape. I, I, don't, I don't know anything else on the street. Uh, we have a pump for that, aren't we? For the yeah, uh, we'll have to look into a bigger pump for it. I mean, maybe not this year, but next spring we need to just right. break down. Well, the pump's only three or four dollars, and they are. Yeah, 
I mean, it only takes probably maybe I, 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 two, three I hours to change the hoses and everything over. So I would say you could use my drive, but if you have to raise the bed, not make it twice as good to work in. Yeah. I don't think I got room. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to it. We can actually open one of the bays up the tar house and yeah. then, mm -hmm. you know, do what we need to do. That's probably cheaper than mine. Well, Dave will yeah. probably realize who did it, guys, or maybe even get Dave to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'm, it's all yours now. The water department. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, you, uh, y'all? Uh, the other thing on the street too, Ronnie, that we possibly going to need to get some more uh, cinders or salt. Um, we do, I mean, we're okay right now, but if something starts major happening, uh, in the long run, I think it'd be che cheaper in the long run just to buy pure salt and sell yeah. cinders and then having to mix everything together with it. Um, you know, do it uh, which you can get from St. Louis, you can bring clean and load down, so whatever yeah. you do, we pile it up in there. Or if we have to stockpile it outside, we just stockpile it outside and throw tarps over it. That's what we do. Yeah, we got that in the building right now, don't we? Yeah, it's in the wing too, that cinders in it. Yeah. But it's not really cinders anymore. It's but you had to deal with the uh, or somebody, or you had to throw somebody, it had to show her how to get over to somebody that holds it. Yeah. You know, right. April got hit, it's never done that. So we right. need to get ready for that. Don't you know that? Sure. Uh, what side? The ground, we, uh, we had three major quarter leaks in town. Finally, they surfaced and found them. Uh, one was in front of Bayer's, the other one was on 7th Street, and another one was on 4th Street. Uh, we got them knocked out within a few days. Of, uh, them, uh, it was leaking for a while, but we got them knocked out. Um, the other thing is, too, is we had a few, uh, during the meter read, we had a few uh, meters that was pretty high usage. Uh, we turned around and uh, made contact with all of them that had high usage, which one knew already what happened because water was going over 61. But oh. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, but all together between November 10th and all the way to November 28th, uh, we used 793,780 gallons of water that went through our system. Uh, so that's basically an average testing of 50,000 gallons a day. Uh, the other problem that's going on is with these new service lines, uh, they use uh, cheap copper and it's uh, electrolysis is going through it and pitting it up, which I got pieces in my truck out there and what happened, um, turn around and creating, creating a problem. So uh, basically we're going to have to maybe get together and find a way to fund it and I come in and replace the service lines all the way. So, I mean, maybe not all of them going to do it, but I found certain areas actually start to take effect on it. So, um, the other thing is, is I'm, uh, the back teeth come back good. Uh, the sewer side of this, um, samples didn't come back good. Uh, we're waiting on a fire hydrant from uh, Corner Main. Uh, it's on order. It's just everything's back ordered right now. So, it's, um, uh, hopefully we get that before we get that in. Um, I did get a bid from Quick Pro today, or well, the other day it came in, but um, for a new blower uh, and with a warranty and everything on it, uh, it's gonna be $3,376.97 for a new blower. We're down to one blower right now, so that one goes. I'm kind of up to create that apple. So, <laughs> so um, uh, we're gonna have to, I mean, that's left a few guys. I can get a new route. Um, but uh, I got a 2020 in there already, and it's been maintenance, and it blew up again. So it's I think the roots are just junk in my book. So how much do you say? How much they usually run for? Uh, well, that's about the normal price. Yeah, I mean for I mean used to I could get the root for almost 2,600 dollars, but everything material has done went up. I mean it's crazy. Yeah. So this one's 3,376 dollars <coughs> They're both right up.
refrigerator system over on Peach Street. And I'm about to turn around and it's like nine thousand and something. Uh, equipment Pro can replace, but they're going to be replacing pretty well everything. A new fit and everything they're going to replace. Um, uh, the only thing that don't come with it is a new motor. So that's going to be an extra two thousand dollars for a new motor for it and, and capacitors and stuff. But right now, just to replace the railing and everything and the pit and tie everything in, this was with labor is forty six hundred seventeen dollars. But if you go and put a new motor in, it's going to be about six thousand or something. It would be cheaper uh, so, than that. Yeah, it'd be yeah, cheaper nine thousand. Or can they get to it? Uh, I, we'd have to call and find out whenever they'd be available to do it. Well, I'm thinking so there's an option there. That's, so that's, 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 that's our standard pump. That's our standard pump. What we're using right now. Well, it's it's a different style of pump. I just replaced one uh, at one resident. It's a different style of pump, but it's, it works the same way. It's just a little different wiring. Uh, so, but it works good. I mean, it, it right. sounds really nice when they're they all. So, right. uh, they are cheaper pumps. They're IMGs, but um, uh, we normally use King, Kings or we use Myers. Yeah. But they're getting away from the Myers and they're going to King, but now they got these new ones that same horsepower and everything. It's just a little bit different wire. Right. Anyway, now, it's not it's not wire no more. So it's no. Crazy uh, Mac would say he wanted his out. Want his gone. Yes. So we have to get parts off of this. We have yeah. to for another grinder. Yeah. And the thing about it is, like I told Carl that before, using a used grinder out of a pit, if the length of line or water ain't there, then you're asking for trouble. Right. So, I mean, if it's a short pit, yes, no problem at all. But say, well, like I mentioned, Jody, you want to replace Jody's here. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're, I mean, they're 14 foot deep, basically. So, I mean, oh, it's not hard to like that in there. Um, the other thing is too is had multiple grinders, uh, sort of relay boxes, contacted one out, but they're all replaced. And uh, the other grinder up on Locust the third at the um, uh, Thompson residence, it's got a new grinder in it. I got to pull the wire, but we have a problem with the discharge one. I have to figure out where to shut off at or something that's clogged up. Um, but. I mean, it's kind of the wrong time of year to try to be digging. That's just the bad part because I don't, I don't want to have an episode up there because you're dealing with forced mains. I mean, it's and not having. I mean, him. I got another guy that helps me, but right. doing something right. like that, it's going to be a probably an all day affair. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's the only other other problem we have with the major grinder right now. I mean, we've been trying to keep them pumped down, uh, but you know, rain cut us out of getting to the yards and stuff and. Uh, Tractor acting a little funny, but we got everything going, but um, everything's good on that. So but that's all I got to report on that. Any questions? Or anything? And that, you get yours, Lord? We'll see. Yeah. Cross my fingers, Craig. Well, I'll start doing it first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, are, how are we going to do that on the next three if we can't find the show? Well, that, what kind of line is that coming in? They copper, so well, that's good to see. So, you can't so basically, what you have to do is there's a clean out over on at the old boat house there, and then there's a clean out up the road by me where that sewer line comes in. Shut them off and all that. You just have to well, you shut the houses off, but open up both clean outs to reduce the pressure. That's the only way you can do it. I mean, I couldn't. I took the metal detector over there, and I can't find a valve. Why did you so, take a metal detector or that one? I took that, the, the yellow one. Well, uh, we found out when we tried to locate gray, there's a hell of a big difference between that and a metal detector. Well, we uh, couldn't find or anything with that one. Then it brought his metal detector, they just found them out of. Well, you gotta remember that, that unit there is probably 20 years old. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, we may try it with a metal detector. Yeah, go ahead. We find it out, that'd be awesome. Because Kyle, you just you made a difference when we got his uh, metal don't, detector in. He don't know what he's talking about. So. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to talk? Oh, that one, never mind. I don't want to talk about that one. Is that on it, man? See, you want to look at it. Clark Timber, we are having the first funeral in the burial in the we go, we're out of double locks and sorry to say it was one of our ex-employees' son when we go to the other one. So it's going to be a mess. It took us a lot of time to get it all figured out.
figured out what we did, but when we, it was one starts at one end, the end up <coughs> starting at the last and working our way down. When we have beer, nobody has to walk over graves and things to get through the, the new beer. And everything's going to be no hit, over hit. All cats, a uh, hit on that has to be around that or a little above. And I, I don't no know. above, right? Yeah. Just enough. More we can hold. Where we got over top of it. And it's not turning up the motor. It might oh, be okay. an inch above ground, but we don't get that close to them, but they can't get yeah. to it. Yeah. Man, they, they, can, they can put base and flowers and things on and they hit from me. I mean, they, they, we're not having them. That's been an ordinance since it's the day that we bought this contract. But the prices are still the same and everything. But we will have our first funeral up there and say, that's how I got it on cemetery. I don't know, is the park closed for the winter? Should be, yeah. Needs to be. I had no, 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 Okay. Yeah, I assume you're here for a citizen participation. Yeah. So what? What? You want to come up here and say his name and everything and what you got? What fellow he got? I think I know. You might have a little bit there. And uh, I had a lot of water and a lot of trouble, and that's not what I mean. I don't know if it's for that, I mean, for it. I was pretty high, but I didn't, you know, I thought I'd get a high leak, but I mean, 300. So I checked everything, everything was checked, there's no leak. And I was checking the meter, and a few hours before I used the water, and the meter was only 28 gallons. Where I get that, I don't know because nothing can be used. So it seems that there's something wrong with the meter. And the way the monitors are there, stop and go 20 meters and it stops and goes 20 meters in there. Or is it, you know, because that's what I've been at least 90 gallons of water. You don't have a link from the meter to the house? No, no, no. I absolutely positive. Positive, no, it's just that. It's my bathroom throw up part. To look for it. To look, be able to see the whole thing. There's no leak. But I know that. But your meter's not in your bathroom. I'm talking from the well, meter yeah. to your house. Right. I'm telling you, there's not much in the meter to my house. That's not close to the meter. Okay. So the, it just, what is it, two feet? Right there. Yeah. Have you looked at your meter and it stopped? Uh, I looked at it and it stopped all the way. And then I, and then I looked and there's nothing running in the house. Anything move? Okay. Then we, you only got one option. We got an ordinance. You want to explain it to her? Or you want to call the meter. You yes. take your meter and get it tested. You got to put up 75 hours. Uh, and then yeah, it'll it'll be, be a certified test. And if it, if well, it bad, we'll adjust your bill and give you back the 75 hours. Oh, yeah. But if it tests good, then you got, you're going to lose your $75 and you're going to get that meter for well, it. they're going to say it's good, obviously. It's never been a bad one. Hmm? You know, it's a bad one. I know it's a bad one. Well, we, it's it's not not good. Good. we don't get 99% of the time when they go bad, they read slow. They read slow. They read slow. They never read bad. I'm telling you, it's your third point now. You're going to read it. And it, and I it, 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 it's going to be that way or nowhere. Right now, it's not going to be that way. Right now, it's going to be that way or nowhere. Right now, you're saying you've got a bad meter. And we're that. saying you got a good meter. They all you all you got to put up seventy five hours. They're coming for okay. another meter in there. That month, that month, it didn't work. Huh? I mean, this month it worked. What? That meeting, that meeting didn't work. That was three hundred dollars. Now this meeting comes up to eighty seven dollars again. To the right. To the we right have right. never nobody paid for a meter. You got to put up seventy five hours to get your tested. If it works, you got to put up seventy five hours. Yeah, but that's not going to get you a meter. That's not going to get you a meter. If it tested when. The federal deadline, yeah. good, we're going to bring it right back and put it right in there and you lose your pay and it off. If it tastes bad, we'll, we'll give you back your pay and off, plus adjust your water bill 
through what had been the back 12 month average. And that's the only option you got now, because you're saying you ain't got to leave. So you're you. saying that to me. I'm saying that last, the month that you go to 140. Have you got any more residents in your house? No, you no. Not no. a soul. If there's one more person there, my water goes up 20 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not. I, I mean, the conversation for the, the water bill, they, the only option you got is the one I told you, per our ordinance. You put up $35, call, or I mean, uh, my, somebody come and take it, take can it, take it. Can I, can I see the paper that you didn't receive back from whatever company? Sure, you can take it. Yeah. That's great. They put your letter on it. written on your water bill. It'll get sent to you. Just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the bill sent to me. I want to know if there was something wrong. We, when we get, get the meter back, we will company? get a cop. Excuse me, man. We'll get a friend out. What company is it? What's the best thing? It's the uh, that water company in St. Genevieve. They test them. They're certified. So they test them. They'll be the ones that you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, they won't be fixing it. They're going to check your meter. If it's it's that. You have to take them to do it. You can't test it in your ground. You got to take it up there and they got to have a machine and equipment, the amount of water. And see what goes through. Mm -hmm. They know how much going through and what the meter reads and everything. It's calibrated. Well, they you do it. Calibrated all of them? Huh? How you know it's calibrated? They will when they run it through there. If it's calibrated right, they run it right. If you're meeting. I'm not going to argue the point with that. That's all I'm not arguing. I'm just telling you what's going on. We're not. We don't want cheating. I don't want you to pay one penny to me. But you are. But we can't be changing that. Okay, another, thing, another issue is this. That water went another two weeks without me without me knowing that that was happening. That there was a speed of that. I think it went from 1,300 to 9,600. Nobody called me. Nobody got to my door. It went on two weeks. When I explained it to the secretary that does that, she said, we don't have to tell you. I don't believe that. She didn't, Victoria. She said exactly that. She did not. I was here right. every time you have came in. Were she you has phone? not you told on, you. Were you on the phone? No, I was not. I was standing okay. right there beside well, I her. Called, I called her that. I she had her. her. She had you on speaker. Anytime we read a meter, um, the day we read the meter, and one of them's got a high reading, they call immediately the next day, and we send an eye out to read your meter. And if you're showing a bunch, we call you or try to get a hold of you. Nobody and I you know what you're doing. They're not at home. They're not at home. They're not at home. We try to get a hold of one for three days. Finally, had to get the police to go look for it. Because he didn't answer his phone, he wouldn't do nothing. We don't, we don't call you every day. We try to get a hold of you. No, no, I just, there's nothing on my phone like me. There's no message on my face. But she, well, she's, not here to defend, she's not here to defend her. And I was home. So that's what I want to say. I didn't leave my house until after 5 o'clock. I don't know who, that, who well, went back and read it. But I think she the be, should be told when that happened, turn the water off. You got something there? Yes. Say it. For one, you did know about Maria because I talked to you at the gas station. Right. We, I told you you had a leak. Yes, you had something leaking. Right. So that was the day, that was the day of, that was the day of. That I talked to you. That I said I got the bill, because I wouldn't know unless I got the bill. Well, no, I told you beforehand that you had a leak. Yeah. You told me you didn't have a leak. I said, you have to have before. a leak if you're that high. And I went over there to look at your meter. I watched your meter. I did too. And anyways, it did bump a little bit. Now, the thing about it is, if you have a toilet, you have a toilet right. a, a float, or your, your flotation, your filler valve, or you have your little funder that goes in the bottom, if it's leaking past, that's a lot of water that goes through. Yeah, yeah. I guess but it's the thing about it is, if if the water is already being used and you're back to normal now, there was something going on in right. the toilet or something. Yeah. So right. the thing about it is that our meter is not registering wrong. The thing about it is, a, a meter can actually register anywhere between 97%. Anyway, it's 97%. So, the thing about it is, if a meter is going bad, a meter's running slow. It's yeah. your your benefits. It's not the city. I understand that, but, it but the thing matter. about it is, is if it went back to normal, something yeah. got changed in that house. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Either a toilet, right. the toilet flipped no, or nothing, something. Nothing, nothing's changed. Nothing was changed. I'm just saying. I know. Nothing was changed. Nothing was changed. No, I'm no, telling no. you what's going to happen. That's the only thing that can happen. If that meter's just good, 
You can pay well, off. I have a big sack if you do one time of work and I just sit on the door. Sit down and go. What if the water goes? There wasn't any time in my house. There wasn't coming up anywhere. Where did how much water? We could have got this all thousands of gallons and you don't know where it's going. But it's going somewhere for 200 meters in his house. I'm but he don't know where it's going. I've got from here. And he's going to get a 35 cent of conformers around the fish. And you're going to get a fish. You've got to have a permit to work at the You've got to have a permit to work at the Sunday one want to come in. You want to tell her around there or you want me to? You've got to have a business permit. Right? A business permit. But it's, it's, not, it's like a couple bucks. It's not expensive. I mean, you know, $30, $30, $30. $30. Yeah. about where I have to wait through the year, so $15. Right. Well, she said, I want to pay that, so I said, okay, we well, can take a look here. Well, I mean, that's what they, they can, can work. You know, you can pay it. Oh, yeah. Most of the popular yeah. plumbers do have, well, they renew them every yeah. year. Well, I'm going to tell you this there, there's one guy that called a plumber, and he won't come because he's been there before and uh, they won't pay the bill. Or they're slow about yeah, paying the bill. That. So yeah. it ain't, you can't just, if you have problems with a plumber, don't call him again. You better well, call him out. They tell you $70 just to show up. Yeah. That's not even repairing it. But they, they, uh, it's one guy, I don't know how he's going to get his fixed because I'm down there. He's got bad credit and everything. He won't pay his bills. Now, I don't know that. That's cost me money. Yeah. But that's not my business. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, my business is. If your pump was bad during a couple of months there, now you say it ain't bad, yeah, something went wrong. And if you're talking about a commode doing it, it almost does it once it leaks down yeah. two gallons and then do it, then may not do it, then for half a day and do it again. But I we can't it. adjust that. Okay. So if, we can't, if that meter okay. shows bad, we will adjust everything. But you're saying it's running good. Yeah. They don't go back and do it. Because once the mechanism goes down, it's out. I'm telling you. It's it's are, it's well, I'm telling you. Just like it was before. 1300. Then 300. Then 1900. And then the. the I, I got right. no more options. There's nothing I can do. You got the only option I want to have it. Pay the bill. I want to have it. 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 I want Hmm? Yeah, I can't put pay for the water and pay for the testing also. That's an awful lot of money. It's going to have a lot of bad electric bills. Huh? Yeah, that's a lot of money. But we're going to get that thing if it's bad. We're it. Yeah, for my money. For my money first. Do it and then we'll pay you. That's the only option you got. Well, why don't you do it and I'll pay you? Hmm? Why, why don't you get it done and then I'll pay you? Yeah. You pay for it. You, put, you got to go up $75 and we'll get it done. Okay, that's exactly because you, why can't I pay after you get the results? Because uh, it ain't way more than free. You put up $75 and we get it tested. And we get it tested and you put up $75. Right. Mm -hmm. You're going to show me a couple right there. Mm -hmm. We go by the ordinance. Yeah, you go by the ordinance. Sure. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. No, 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 no,